hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video we're going to make uh, thandai bhapa doi uh, this is a very easy recipe and we're not going to use any condensed milk or cream in this and it can be done with um, simple ingredients so it is wholly special and let's see how to make this for the thandai mishti doi here i have one cup of full fat milk half a cup of hung curd I have uh, this is homemade curd which I set and then I put it on the strainer and let the liquid drain out and after that I measured half a cup of hung curd so that's half a cup and then I have half a cup of thandai syrup today I'm using this is the brand I'm using I've got this from a local store nearby so I'm taking half a cup of that one fourth cup of jaggery do increase or decrease the sweetness according to your taste a few almonds use any dry fruits you have this is for garnish and a few rose petals this is again for garnish this is the one which i dried in the oven now this is just a mix and bake kind of recipe so what i'm going to do first is i'm going to add in our hung curd jaggery and milk into a bowl and I'm going to mix it in. Once the jaggery is melted, I'm going to pour in our thandai syrup. I'm going to mix this once with a hand blender. Now uh, the base for our mishti doi is done. Now all we have to do is bake this. Now let me pour this into a bowl. This is the time you can check for the sweetness and if you need more sweetness do add in more jaggery into it. Now I'm going to pour the, the mixture into a bowl that I'm going to bake in. Now this has to be baked on a water bath. So here I've taken a bowl with water in it. And I'm going to place our bowl with the curd in it and I'm going to seal the top of the bowl. I've taken an aluminium foil. I'm going to fold it. Now that's it. Now we are going to bake this. Uh, for baking this, we need to preheat our oven at 180 for 10 minutes and then bake it at 180 for 30 minutes so now if you don't have an oven and you still want to make this you can have a pan which is with boiling water and then immerse another pan with um, the curd mixture in it and similarly steam it and you'll get the same result for half an hour so now let's go ahead and bake it like again i'll repeat this for baking we need to preheat our oven at 180 for 10 minutes and bake it at 180 for 30 minutes. Our mishti doi is baked and it's done. I let it cool completely before I removed it from the oven because the water below is boiling hot and um, that's why I let it cool completely before I take it out. Now let's see. This is still not ready but do you see the jiggle? Yes, now that's baked. Now for the garnish, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just sprinkle in some nuts. You want to do? Yes. And this is again optional. You can take some rose petals and just sprinkle it here. And that's it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it set in the refrigerator. So I'm going to cover this back. take it out from the bowl and then I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for two to three hours until it sets completely and then after that it's ready to be eaten. The mishti doi has been sitting in the fridge for a good three hours now and it's ready. You see it's set completely. Get it closer. See that? 
So our mishti doi is done. It's a very simple and easy recipe. Now if you're looking for the plain mishti doi without uh, the flavor of tandai, it is already on the channel. I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. Do try this recipe out and let me know in the comment section if you like it. And um, thank you for watching the video. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.